Now, long before the flood of Noah's day, the tremendous longevity of men reflects a remarkable potential in the human body. However, in the days of Moses, life expectancy dropped to 70 or 80 years. The situation in this regard has not changed much. Throughout the centuries, man's efforts to extend his lifespan have been pretty much unsuccessful. There have been exceptions, such as Moses, who lived 120 years, Aaron lived 123 years, and Joshua 110 years. But that was not typical of people in general. Since time and unforeseen occurrences befall us all, we cannot say how much longer we will live. Now in the beginning, in Genesis 6-3, then Yahweh said the spirit will not struggle with humans forever because they are flesh and blood. They will live 120 years. But then you find Psalms 90. A prayer by Moses. O Adonai, you have been our refuge throughout every generation. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, you were ill. You are ill from everlasting to everlasting. You turn mortals into dust and say, Return, descendants of Adam. Indeed, in your sight, a thousand years are like a single day, like yesterday already passed. Like an hour in the night, you sweep mortals away. They are a dream. They sprout again in the morning like cut grass. In the morning, they blossom and sprout. In the evening, they wither and dry up. Indeed, your anger consumes us. Your rage terrifies us. You have set our sins in front of you. You have put our secret sins in the light of your presence. Indeed, all our days slip away because of your fury. We live out our years like one long sigh. Each of us lives for 70 years or even 80 if we are in good health. But the best of them bring trouble and misery. Indeed, they are soon gone and we fly away. Who fully understands the power of your anger? A person fears you more when he better understands your fury. Teach us to number each of our days so that we may grow in wisdom. Return, Yahweh, how long? Change your plans about us, your servants. Satisfy us every morning with your mercy so that we may seem joyful and rejoice all our days. Make us rejoice for as many days as you have made us suffer for as many years as we have experienced evil. Let us, your servants, see what you can do. Let our children see your glorious power. Let the kindness of Adonai, our Elohim, be with us. Make us successful in everything we do. Yes, make us successful in everything we do. Now that's bad enough as it is, but bottom line there is Moses is talking about 70 or 80 years versus that 120 years that we were given in Genesis. Now, the Moses character is begging Yahweh to be nice, it seems, in Psalms 90. It sounds as if he's asking for a shorter lifespan. Now, I don't know who would know this, but from that prayer, it certainly sounds as if Moses has had enough. But now look, the thinking that 120 years was the lifespan God placed on mankind, that can't be correct. The 120 years was actually a pronouncement of judgment and doom for mankind at the time. It was then that God decided that all flesh on the earth would be destroyed in 120 years, except the few he found to be faithful, as the Noah and his family story goes. I mention this because John of Patmos placed this system of thinking on a clock once again. He says the planet will be replaced with an earthly paradise where peace, righteousness, and love is to abound. Or so says that book of Revelation. Now that was intended to bring hope. Now here's some more hope. There's a lot of teaching about God promising you three score and ten which they say equals to that 70 years. But if God cannot lie and promise mankind three score and 10, every human being on this earth would have lived to see their 70th year. 
That is why reality shows us something different. Human beings are dying at different ages. Death will come to us all, but we cannot say when or at what age that will come. I suppose the longer the better. I am 70. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day.